Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I'm going to focus on prompt function. Prompt function is nothing, is a semantic function has changed to prompt function. In one of our video plugin video, we use this import semantic functions. Now the API name has been changed. We have to use import plugin from prompt directory. And other changes, this is our directory. So here we are referring the plugin and we are importing. As I mentioned, we are going to use a different API name to import this directory. The next changes in the config file, config.json. Here this input parameter property has been changed. First, we'll import this directory using the new API. The next we see the changes in the config file. In Visual Studio, I have created the project called the prompt function. The prompt function, I added NuGet package, the latest Microsoft Semantic Kernel NuGet package, and I built the, this kernel. So it's same like in our last video. The next step, the next step, we are going to import this directory. So the second step here, import prompt functions. So here where plugin directory equal to path dot combine get current directory this is not prompt function this is a plugin so just copy this name and paste it that's it so the next step we are going to import so the kernel kernel dot import plugin from prompt directory so here we have to pass the path so the second argument we have to pass which plugin you want to import for example this plugin contains multiple plugins at the moment i added only one plugin location plugin if it is contain multiple plugin you have to specify which plugin to be import. So here plugin location. The import is done. Next step, okay, in this location plugin, which function I should call? If this plugin contain multiple functions, you have to specify the which function should be invoked. At the moment I added only one function called a city that we are going to use it get the function function from from location plugin because we are going to read this city function from the location plugin only that's the reason I added the command here so where city kernel function equal to kernel dot plugins dot get function get function the first argument we have to pass the plugin name plugin name is a location the second argument is a sk function that means which function we should invoke our function name is city so here we have to specify the function name city the step is ready. So the next step, we are going to invoke this function. To invoke where function results equal to kernel dot invoke async. The first argument is a plugin name or function name. There are two ways you can call. 
whether you have to pass a which plugin, which function should invoke, or as we already taken the function name. So you can directly pass the kernel function here. So the kernel function is a city kernel function. The next argument is a input argument. So the kernel arguments. So here we prepare the kernel arguments. where kernel arguments equal to new of kernel arguments. So here we have to specify the input and this input is a user input. So runtime we are going to pass. That's it. Not here. Here. And this function is async function. We have to convert this also to async. So change async task. Here we await pass kernel arguments and we print the result. Console dot right line function results dot get value as a string that's it console dot read line read okay as I mentioned earlier so now we are using import plugin not import semantic now we are using import plugin the second changes LLI mentioned in the config file. Previously, here we used input and parameter and the default values. Here we assign it. This is little bit changed. If we go to this config.json file, input has been changed to input variables and the default value changed to default. If the property is required, you can use is underscore record is true. So this is a small changes in the config file. The rest all same only. So in the main program seems to be all okay. We run the application and see the result. And uh, I make this prompt function is a startup project. Run the application. Started. I send message just uh, please let me know about Chennai this request sent to Azure Open AI seems, seems to be some issue we'll see Let me know about this time Tanjavur. So it's connected to Azure Open service and uh, get the result about Tanjavur city. I hope you can I hope you can understand how to use a prompt function.